I'm going to try my hand at tie-dyed Easter eggs. Uh, I've done a few of these already, and some of them have turned out really well, others not so well. So I've got three eggs here in a colander that I've already hard-boiled, and I'm just going to splash these with a little white vinegar, just plain old distilled white vinegar. And I'm going to use the uh, food coloring, the little squeeze bottle, whatchamacallit, doohickey things you buy at the grocery store for a dollar or however much they are. Uh, now you might want to wear rubber gloves for this because dye does get on your hands. Uh, I don't mind it so much, so I'm not going to. I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is going to be yellow. These particular ones I'm going to do yellow and blue. Um, and you just want to drop one drop of food coloring on each egg there. And you want to be careful with these so you don't crack the shells. And roll these around a couple of times. You don't want to roll them too much uh, and get the, otherwise you'll end up with a solid colored egg. So I just rolled that around a couple of times. We're going to let this sit for a couple of seconds. And now I'm going to do the blue. And I'm just going to put a drop on only two of these eggs. And again, roll this just a couple of times to get the blue mixed on there. Like that. And the more you roll this, the more the colors blend. So, I mean, it's, it's really up to you how, how much you want the colors to blend. So, that looks good to me. I'm going to leave this now for about five minutes, and then I will be back to rinse them off. All right, so these have sat for about five minutes. I'm just going to run these under the water here, and I've set up a piece of styrofoam there with some toothpicks in it so I can set the eggs right on top. That way they don't get, the colors don't get muddled on the bottoms. Just like that. And let these sit for a few minutes and then blot them dry very gently with a paper towel. Uh, you don't want to smear the color off or wipe the color off. Um, and then you want to let them fully dry for at least a few hours and then you're pretty much done. You have tie-dyed Easter eggs.